Hello. Today we are going to solve area problems with unknown side lengths. So when we think about area, we're talking about the measure of the space inside a shape, where if we know the length and we know the width, we can figure out the area. So in this picture above, we're told that the total area is 48 centimeters squared, because we're talking about square centimeters here. We have one, two, three, four, five, six centimeters going vertically, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight centimeters going horizontally. So we can get an area of 48 by multiplying six times eight. If we didn't know one of the sides, we can use division to figure that out. So take a second, let's think about what you know about area. Let's see, did your ideas match mine? Area is the amount of surface inside a closed boundary. Opposite sides of a rectangle have equal lengths. So in a rectangle, if one side is three, then the opposite side is also three, whether it's inches or feet. The number of squares in one row is the same as the length in unit squares of the rectangle, going horizontally. The number of rows in the rectangle is the same as the width in unit squares of the rectangle. Area is always expressed in square units, whether it be square centimeters, square feet, square inches. And the area of a rectangle can be found by multiplying the length by the width. So. Here we have a rectangle with a total area of 450 square feet. If we know one of the side lengths, how can we figure out the other? All right, well, nine times L is gonna give us our area of 450. Well, I know that nine times five is 45, so nine times 50 would give us 450. That means our L, the value of L is equal to 50 feet because 50 times nine is 450. What is the value of L in this rectangle? If our total area is eight centimeters squared, then we can use seven times four equals eight or eight divided by four to give us our missing value, L is two centimeters. In this next problem, what's L? If you guessed three centimeters, you're correct. What about here? Our area is 15. Our L is equal to three centimeters as well. In this problem, L is equal to two centimeters. Again, because two times eight is 16 or 16 divided by eight is two. Try this one. If you got four centimeters, you're correct. What about this one? If you got five centimeters for the value of L, you're correct. The same principle applies now when we're talking about extended division and multiplication facts. So if our total area is 200 and one of our side lengths is 50, well, we can't do five times something equal two, so we're gonna use five times something equals 20. Our W is equal to four, because five times four is 20, add a zero, that's 200. So our answer is four units. For this problem, take a second to try to solve this on your own. What is the value of W? Notice I have two different equations. One is using multiplication, one is using division. We always think about area as length times width, but it also could be the reciprocal with division. W equals 80 feet. Finally, 
If area is length times width, then you can use that to figure out unknowns. So if we had a rectangle that was two by 10, our area would be 20 feet squared. If we had a four by 11, it would be 44 square feet or FT, the little two. If our length is five and we know our area, we would need to use division, thinking about five times what number is gonna give us 30 or 30 divided by five is six feet. And our last missing side length, 36 divided by nine, or what number times nine is going to give you 36? And that answer is four.